Typography is the technique of arranging type on the page or screen in order to make written language readable and pleasing to the eye. But it should also be able to communicate a specific message about its subject matter. Typography includes selecting the typeface, specifying the type size, the line length, the spacing between the letters, and other finely tuned decisions in order to ensure that the content is communicated clearly and legibly. Throughout this course, I'll be talking about typefaces, whereas you might be more used to seeing the term fonts used to describe different types of lettering. The reason for this is that fonts can be considered the software that you would install into your computer to be able to use a specific typeface. The typeface is the unique design of the letters, whereas the font is the software you use to be able to use that particular lettering design in your design projects. In short, a font is what you use and a typeface is what you see. Yes, this is very particular design language. However, it's a language that will mark you out as knowing the design basics. Besides just being letters, typefaces can also communicate tone and emotion. Each typeface has a specific feeling or tone affiliated with it. And depending on the typeface you choose for your design project, the typeface's tone will become your project's tone. As an example of how typefaces communicate different emotions and tones, let's imagine that we're designing an invite for a party. Here, we've taken the word party and we'll display it in different typefaces and see how the typeface changes our idea of what type of party it is. For example, many of you have seen the typeface Comic Sans before and have possibly even used this in a document. The message that this typeface communicates is in its name. It was a typeface created for comic books and so communicates messages of fun, lightheartedness, and playfulness to the viewer. If we put party into this typeface, we would imagine that we could potentially be going to a kid's party with clowns and balloons and other fun, playful things. But if we change the typeface from Comic Sans to this typeface here, this would communicate a different message. This script font communicates a feeling of elegance and refinement, something quite different than Comic Sans. If you were handed a party invite set in this typeface, you would assume that the event would be quite fancy, quite grown up, and you might have to dress up for this occasion. You wouldn't assume that this was for a kid's party. And how about we change the typeface again to another typeface, this quite bold, striking typeface here, and in all capital letters. Again, this typeface communicates a different message. It feels quite strong, bold, and powerful, and impactful and very intense. This changes the meaning of the word party again. If you received an invitation designed with this typography, you wouldn't think it was for children. You wouldn't think it was an elegant affair. For me, this typeface brings to mind the college parties you may have seen in American films, where hundreds of people might show up. It's interesting how just a change in typeface can completely change the message that you're trying to communicate about your organization. Now, while we've only touched upon Latin typefaces, I know many of you are working in multiple languages and using different alphabets. It can be tricky to find two typefaces that match each other for a project when using different alphabets. So later in this course, you'll get to meet two great designers who often work with the Arabic and Persian alphabets. Next, we'll be going into more detail about the various components of a Latin typeface.